I wish I wasn't so out of breath. I'm not, it's not even because of COVID. It's just because I'm nervous about making this video. So yeah, you know how it is. We're only going to do it in one take. You don't know who it is because I've never talked to you before. My name's Andrew. Uh, this is kind of like the start of my channel. I'm out here just trying to make stuff for fun for the average person. Tell it how it is. I'm not some like big game filmmaker or outdoors person for that matter. I just like doing stuff outside and I'm a pretty average person at it too. Uh, pretty average skier. <laughs> yes. Pretty average mountain biker. Yes, sir. Sometimes I hunt. Sometimes I fish, but not really. Uh, I have a skateboard, but I don't really use that. But yeah, you just probably saw that really cool sequence that I put together. That was like, oh my gosh, I'm on the edge of my seat. Well, that's kind of it. Like, there's nothing more to it. I kind of just wanted to put something together just for fun. Let's talk about what this video is actually about, the boot review. So recently, as in last year, I got into backcountry skiing. But skiing for me has always been a challenge because I have really wide feet. Now you're probably like, whoa, why does that make any difference? Uh, it's because ski boots are made for skinny footed people. They just don't happen to make that many uh, wide boots. So this year I threw down uh, a significant amount of money for um, Scarpa my Schrals and uh, got them custom fit uh, through Larry's Boot Fitting in Boulder, Colorado. It, they're fantastic, to be honest with you. I'm going to show you my my old boots. Let me put this thing down. These are 2019 uh, Rossignol Speed 120s. And so I got these custom fit as well uh, through Christy Snow Sports. But one of the funny things was when I, when I went in, they were just like, oh my gosh, everyone get down here. This guy's foot is one of a kind. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a case. Like I'm a case study. And they were just like, we're going to teach everyone how to work on a foot like this. Like it was like a old like surgery where everyone's all gathered around. Basically, those boots have a last which is the width of 105 millimeters. And I had uh, custom insoles in them as well. Uh, and they were great. Like I skied probably like 20 times in them. They're fantastic for downhill. Um, and I love them a lot. Like they're super comfortable. Oh, it also helps to tell you that I'm flat footed. Um, so those two things together can just kind of create this horrible environment for skiing because if you're flat-footed and you have wide feet, kind of need a lot of help with that. But last year I got into backcountry skiing with some friends. It was a miserable experience. Took some Abbey classes. I would go out with my friends and every time we'd go out, I'd just be crying because I was using the QSTs. I don't remember, they were like teal because it's said that they can expand the shell up to 106 millimeters. That's not really true uh, because it compromises the upper and the lower moldings on the plastic and breaks the seam on them, especially after you punch it together too. Those ended up being uh, uh, really painful almost got hypothermia in those boots, which was really kind of interesting. Maybe that's for another time With that being said, I was like this year I'm not gonna throw down for a pass no icon no epic and just go full investment on backcountry skis and backcountry skiing So with that being said the only thing that I really needed was backcountry boots And so I was scouring the internet. I was looking at Rossignol's uh, backcountry Companion to the speeds which are like the all tracks. I believe design wise. They're very similar but they did not actually have the last to compete uh, on that level. It would not fit. I think theirs is like 103 millimeters, maybe 104. I could be wrong on that. I ended up just biting the bullet and going to a custom boot fitter. Yeah, it was the highest, it was the most, uh, it was the highest. It had the recommendations. It had the most amount of recommendations. And honestly, they took really good care of me. They were probably the best boot fitter I've ever been to. They molded, you know, everything to my foot um, and they ensured that I would have like a good experience Experience while doing so. Um, now, knowing the nature of my feet, I kind of went in there just expecting that everything would hurt no matter what. So whatever boot that they would give me that it just wouldn't fit. No, they actually, they fit very well. I also do exercises to help my arch to strengthen it for skiing because I want to have a good experience. And you know, if I need to put work in for that, like that's totally fine with me. That's just one of the things I'm going to be doing. The way that they formed the boot was took pictures of my feet, not in a weird way, but they sent them to Scarpa and they were just like, okay, hey, how can we best work with this boot material? And originally I was going to go with the uh, Maestrel RSs, uh, which have a 120 flex. These ones have actually a 110 flex. They were talking to them and they uh, said that you can't use the RSs. The, there's two different plastics on there and you have to heat them at different temperatures. And so you can't heat them and punch them at the same time without warranty being voided and like the material construction being compromised. I ended up with these boots. They sent me pictures along the way of their construction. They're fantastic boots. I mean, they're super light. If I were to guess, this is probably like around five pounds. 
pounds on but they took care of me it took about a month because they were testing um what was the best way to actually punch out the sides of these boots so i do have the sides of these punched out especially where my feet really get a lot of pain which is both on the sides of my foot like right where the arch just kind of like is supposed to be it kind of collapses and bunches out a little bit so they actually took really good care of me i got them about a month ago but I'm making the review now because i actually just got to use them your boy was down with covid so i couldn't ski for a little bit i mean i just went up yesterday to snowy range um ski area that's the closest ski area to me unfortunately i'm an idiot and used my gopro wrong uh, and didn't put it on super wide and just wide so you'll get clips of just like my toes a little bit not really much else but otherwise i could do everything that i could do in my previous boots in uh downhill bindings so that was really fun so yeah that's one of the cool things about this boot it has both uh the tech bindings but it can go into the downhill uh skis as well um and so i use my downhill skis just to kind of test out comfortableness of it um and to see if like my arches would hurt um and i and i normally get like arch pain anyway because obviously like you ski if you ski all day if you ski multiple days like you're gonna get that uh, there's a difference between being fatigued and just being in pain basically was able to go through the trees go through um super steep downhills nothing at snow is actually steep hit a jump yeah trees moguls did everything that i could by the end of the day i was actually tightening my boots um, more than normal qualities of this boot that are really awesome one there's only one buckle on the top of your foot so you only have to worry about just cinching down this one little piece here if you may notice i have like these booster straps uh here instead uh, and that's because i told people at larry's that i uh, was probably going to use these for both backcountry and resort skiing just like downhill and they were like oh okay well in that case we want to get you something stronger and these booster straps are a godsend you can really just tighten them um super tight it's just a cinch just has these little buckles over here and you just pull it through and you just tighten them down and they're they're fantastic they're actually a great alternative if you want to tighten up some boots um and they just drill them through the back here uh that's fantastic the buckling system is great uh the walk mode is fantastic especially in touring mode uh, here let me pop one of these on to show you just how much i can do regular mode i guess like you're gonna have all these like clamped up when you tour i keep this on like this buckle right here and i put this <laughs> this one right here and then i just I usually keep this pretty loose. I'm not going to do it because my hand's tired, but I'm down here. And then you just flip the switch on there and then you have a pretty decent amount of flex. So when I was touring, I actually found it nice on my feet. Now my friends go way faster than I could. So I was actually only getting fatigued by the flexing of my foot because I had to go so fast. But otherwise they were a fantastic boot when I was going slower. One of the other things with this a boot that's kind of annoying but i still recommend this boot no matter what um because i got really fat feet is the fact that there's this like plate going on here here let me see so there's this plate and like it's where like your so your this is your tongue but then you have like this extra plate in here i think they did this to like reduce material and it makes it kind of hard sometimes because it'll slip under the buckles if you're not doing it right or like this piece will like overlap but otherwise i mean it's a great boot good fit if you have wide feet get these boots super light great for touring you can probably get away with something else for downhill also i guess i should talk about warmth since we're talking about backcountry to me these seemed like pretty warm uh we went on like a pretty cold evening i'd say like it probably started around like 10 20 degrees but i was fine i was actually sweating and i sweat most of the time uh, these boots were light enough where it actually like felt good and my feet weren't overheating which was my biggest fear if i had anything else to say oh yeah shout out to larry's boot fitting in boulder colorado for being just fantastic like it did take a month to turn around but they were pretty constant with emails update updating me about what they were doing um shout out to oh my gosh what are their names so larry doesn't actually work at larry's boot fitting anymore is what i'm told dan and elaine those two uh were fantastic they worked with me and my atrocities of feet. They did the best work that I've ever had on boots. Till next time, I guess.